Alright, what's up everybody? In this episode, we'll be going over the differences between the Model X and the Model Y to help you decide which SUV best suits you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Alright, so the Model Y long range costs about $55,000 and the performance model costs about $60,000. The Model Y has a range of 303 miles, a top speed of 155 miles per hour, and it can do 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds. Now going on to the Model X, the Model X long range costs about $106,000 and the Plaid model costs about $130,000. Now the Model X has a range of 311 miles, it can do a top speed of 163 miles per hour, and it can do the 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, so that's a second quicker from the Model Y. So yeah, the Model X is more expensive than the Model Y. Well, that's because it's bigger and it's Tesla's flagship SUV. Now, going on to the exterior, so we're going to start off with the Model X, and as you can see, it's quite big. It's, it's a big SUV, and it's very aerodynamic. It has a drag coefficient of 0.24 CD. Now the Model X has these very cool doors, which is called the Falcon Wing Doors. It's the back two doors of the Model X which open upwards and make the Model X look like a flying bird. All four doors and the trunk open and close automatically on the Model X. The front, however, is manual just like all other Teslas. But now, let's go into the Model Y. So here you can see the Model Y, it's a bit smaller than the Model X. But it's still not bad, and the Model Y still looks amazing on the outside. The Model Y, however, doesn't have the Falcon Wing doors like the Model X. The four doors on the Model Y open and close manually, just like most other cars. The trunk is automatic, thank goodness. But yeah, the Model Y still looks great from the outside. Let me know in the comments down below which one looks better to you guys. Now, let's go on to the interior. So starting off with the Model Y. Here you can see the interior is very minimal. You have this 15 inch touchscreen in the center. You have a steering wheel. You don't even have an instrument cluster which shows your speedometer and all other driving info that you usually have in other cars. Well, that's because the speedometer is on the side of the central touchscreen. The Model Y has two wireless chargers up front, so you can charge two phones wirelessly at a time, which is very convenient. The Model Y has two options. You can get a 5-seater or a 7-seater. You can get a 6-seater for some reason, but the very third row in the Model Y is best for small children. Adults are going to feel tight back there. So if you get the 7-seater package, those two seats in the back are best for small children. The Model Y has an amazing sound system. It contains 14 speakers, which sound excellent. The Model Y also includes a subwoofer and dual amplifiers, which just makes the speaker system in the Model Y sound excellent. So yeah, that's the interior of the Model Y. It is a very nice place to be in. Now let's take a look at the Model X. So this is the Model X interior, guys. Yup, it's way more luxurious than the Model Y. You have an even bigger central touchscreen which is 17 inches, so that's an additional 2 inches from the Model Y. You still have two wireless chargers in the front, and you have this whole new yoke steering wheel. Well, it's not really a wheel, so you would say steering yoke. And you'll notice that there are no stocks behind the steering yoke. Most of the controls that you had on the stocks are either on the yoke or controlled by the touchscreen. If you'd like to learn more about how the system works, click on the top right corner of your screen. The Model X has an even better sound system than the Model Y. It contains a 22 speaker, 960 watt audio system, which offers the best listening experience. The Model X also has noise cancellation microphones, which reduce the noise that comes from outside of the vehicle. So any type of pedestrian murmur or some vehicles passing by, you won't hear that inside of the Model X. With the Model X, you have three options for the seating layout. You can get a five-seater, a six-seater, and a seven-seater. Now, with the Plaid model, you can only get the six-seater for some reason, but really, the six-seater is what people love so much. 
the six seater really is nice. It's very nice to have that open space between the two seats in the second row. The third row in the Model X is certainly more spacious than the Model Y, but some adults might still find it a bit cramped in there. So the third row in Tesla SUVs are mainly for small children. But the Model X overall is more roomy than the Model Y. The Model X also has a rear display where you can watch YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, Twitch, Disney+, TikTok. That's how much you can do on this rear display. So you could be going on a road trip. You might be sitting in the second row of the Model X. You might be getting bored. So you can start watching on this rear display. Now, Tesla says on the website that you can game on this rear display, but apparently it's not available yet. We're still waiting for gaming on the rear display. So yeah, overall, the Model X has a nicer interior than the Model Y. Now, it's time to decide whether the Model X is better for you to buy or the Model Y. Now, this is a tough decision because both of these SUVs are excellent. Both of these SUVs are so safe. They have very low rollover risk. That's how safe they are. Now, it really depends on what you need. If you need a big, luxurious SUV which has lots of tech, go with the Model X. But if you need an affordable SUV which still has lots of tech and is comfortable, go with the Model Y. It really depends on what you need. Now, let me know in the comments down below which SUV better suits you. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode.